Hello again, my friends. We're back. Uh, this is our first time doing a review. The great Leslie Suttles house. I know the angle's a little bit off. Uh, didn't have a great angle in this house, but I figured we were going to do one here. We have a local brew. Got a few tonight. Had a couple Christmas sales earlier. This is the Urban Artifact Local Brewery. Urban Artifact, Cincinnati, Ohio. Love letter. Love letter. This is killer. I just drank this a few minutes ago. It's a Midwestern fruit tart. It's the Urban Legend series. Uh, it spiked 7.4% uh, alcohol by volume. I'm not sure about the IBUs on this. It says Urban Artifact. Uh, it says the Midwest, this Midwest fruit tart is brewed with 3,000 pounds of peaches per 30 PBL batch, vanilla beans, malted barley, and wheat. Uh, not getting a date on the can, but I will say this, folks, Urban Artifact, my goodness, uh, it is, I think, the best Cincinnati brew. I've, I've recently said Taft's Hell House, and I love Taft's. I like 50 West. Listerman's done some good things, but I think for what Urban's doing, the uniqueness of it, and also just the taste, it is the best brewery. Uh, I have an old firehouse glass. I just finished the, this fruit tart out. I'm going to pour in here. I know this isn't procedure per se. Only going to do half. I'm going to give half to the great Leslie Suds. There's the can of this Midwest fruit tart. This is a great beer. Yeah, a lot of peaches. Peaches is just the theme here. I'm going to go away from the Christmas theme. I know we've been doing Christmas beers. There's, there's Leslie's great, great daughter Grace here. I know she's not supposed to be. That's Gracie. Go ahead and give it a pour here. You see the pour coming out of the bottle. It's definitely a peach colored tart. Give this about half a pour. Good enough for review purposes. Uh, get the other half of the great suds. Uh, old Firehouse, another great brewery that you also check out. East of town. Great man. Old Firehouse uh, Brewing Company. The great, uh, what's his name? Danny owns the brewery. Great man. Tremendous beer. Chief Porter, Chief and Up, one of the best ports I've ever drank. He's an old firefighter. He's a tremendous man. So check check out old Firehouse as well. I'm hoping to get a couple of their cans. They don't can the beers that I personally like. They can the IPA and, and they do can they, they do can Pin Up Grill and a couple of IPAs. They do can the Flash Code, which is a, a red ale. But back to the Urban Artifact, which is becoming my my favorite since a brewery. That's, that's already my favorite. Uh, this is the the Love Love Letter. So let's go ahead and get an aroma. Peaches is the aroma. I mean, so much peaches. The peaches, but you also get a hint of vanilla in there. It said it's brewed with vanilla beans. There's Grace. Say hello. That's Gracie. That's Leslie's daughter, Gracie. Uh, okay, come on now. Get away with that. We're doing a beer review here. But uh, what you got on your hands there? Wax. From that candle? Yeah. And I thought it was fake. I, uh, I touched a fake candle that I thought was fake and... You know, Gracie's don't don't touch the phone. Just just put. She's she's uh, she's a ham. She likes me on the camera. But uh, what do you get on the aroma? That's the smell. You get peaches. Peaches. You get some vanilla bean. Okay, don't get on the camera there. That's Gracie there. Come on. What? Take off my wax. I know, but I'm we're doing a beer review here. No. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Gracie's ruining this one as always. But uh, I'm just kidding. We love Gracie. She has an abundance of Halloween candy that she refuses to share. Even though I gave her five dollars last week at bowling. No. And there's a hey Gracie. I gave you all that money last week at bowling and you don't want to share. Oh, we love Grace. Great kid. Anyway, so peaches and vanilla beans is what I'm getting in the aroma of this. Uh and there okay, now now we're gonna play this game. <laughs> that she wanted to bring it up. Oh look at this. This is what kids get anymore nowadays. Great people in the city of Hamlet. I'll tell you what, go blue. Uh, there will be a bowling tomorrow, though, for another great night of bowling. Let's go ahead and get uh, a, a sip, and let's thank the brewers at Urban Artifact. I tell you what, I, I really got to get down there. Like I said, for me, the last couple of weeks, it is by far the best, <laughs> the best local brewery. I mean, it's not even close. Like I said, I love 50, love uh, Taps, but, you know, my guy's a mad tree. All right here, I'm telling you now, boom, weak. You know, Listerman's okay, but... Pricey, and they, they only do four packs. They don't bottle or can stuff well. And the rest of the local breweries, I understand municipals and some good things, Woodburn, but you don't can or bottle anything. I mean, the 50 West the same way. And even Taps, you know, they can bottle a few good things. Why does it hurt me? Why does it hurt you? It's hot. It's a candle. 
Oh, well, here we go. We're going to get a swig on this. Cheers, Urban Artifact, and cheers, Gracie, and cheers, Leslie. Here we go. Happy Hump Day. I don't drink beer. Happy Hump Day. Just say Happy Hump Day. Happy Hump Day. Well, she's in school. She should know about Hump Day. Uh, say it, Grace. You got two more to say. I'm looking forward to the weekend. So, there we go. Happy Hump Day. Well, I tell you what. If you like peaches, and who doesn't? That is peach forward. No, it's balanced though. I mean, I really get a good amount of vanilla beans in there. Uh, malted barley and wheat. I don't know. I mean, there's a little bit of barley. I would say peach is predominant factor. Some some vanilla beans. And that's what Urban Artifacts doing a lot of their brews with vanilla beans to offset. This is tremendous. Another A-plus beer. I mean, I cannot stress enough how good this company has been. I really just so legit. So... Uh, another A plus beer. Cheers to Urban Artifact. Check this out if you're in Cincinnati area. Check out anything Urban Artifact makes. You're not going to be disappointed. I think this is my third Urban Artifact review. I think the key punch is five to a four. Well, I didn't review the cherry. I got the cherry in there, but I'll do that for another time. Three out of three in a day is enough. Yeah. There's great. It's creeping up. But uh, yeah, A plus beer for me. Uh, cheers, folks. Good night, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Andrew Savai Pint Night Friday. Another great California breed. Check out Anderson Valley if you get a chance. They, Bye. They do some uh, some good work. So, cheers, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you. Go blue.